And hello everybody, it is Crypto Knights here, coming at you once again with one of my videos. Um, yes, I know, two days in a row, I might be back on track here, we'll see. Uh, just a thing, if you guys like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments about what I discuss, um, or if you have any questions or anything down below um, in the comment section. And if you do enjoy the videos and want to know when I drop one, feel free to ring my bell, and when I do put one out, your bell will be rung. See? Works both ways. And pardon me while I have some coffee. Alright, um, also just real quick, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not here to give you financial advice or tell you what to do with your money. Uh, this is just mainly me talking about my opinions, my thoughts, what I'm doing, how I'm handling things. Take what I say with a grain of salt. Please make sure you are learning from multiple sources. Uh, you're doing your own research and then coming to your own opinions and thoughts and analysis from there. So, with all that said, welcome to the channel. Today has been an interesting day, as you can see. I have no positions. Um, I did get out of some earlier this morning, and uh, recently just got out of the rest and whatever I had left over in Bitcoin. I just threw in a tether because things are not looking bright. Now, of course, you might be looking at my screen going, but crypto, your screen looks different than mine. That's right. This is Apex Trader point one one, um, which will be out in theaters near you very soon. Um, I am just a preview, uh, and uh, I wasn't planning actually on doing a video today. I, uh, talking with one of the other guys in Discord yesterday, I uh, decided I was going to bump up my um, uh, tutorials on how to build a strategy and. Uh, but with all the excitement today, I decided to, um, you know, do a quick video uh, because, and we'll tab on over, hello Discord, to finance, and um, yeah, lots of red, long red candles, and um, I do believe at 5700, we have broken past that last um, resistance. That was like the LMO for Bill, for Bitcoin. Like, seriously. It was around like 5780, um, somewhere around there. I don't remember what the exact number was, but it was like 5780, 5800. And, uh, folks, I hate to break it to you, but we have blown past that. And, um, the next level of resistance isn't until like something like 4200. Um, and then after that, it's like 3,000. You have to remember, um, and I'm going to switch over to the uh, day chart here. Um, the reason why there's like next to no resistance uh, after that 57, 5,800 level is because you have to remember in 2017, uh, we had just a huge parabolic rise all the way up. To 20 grand essentially. Um, January 2017, Bitcoin was at, at like a thousand and we just jumped up. So there's not a lot of level of resistances between like 4,200 and 6,000. Um, so yeah, we are potentially, now I say this potentially because, you know, we don't know. Uh, we have been in a series of consolidation for some time. Um, with low volume and uh, you know it's been a, a back and forth and I might have said this in one of my previous videos that we had really two scenarios either Bitcoin needed to go up and hit 6800 and then for us to really be out of the bear market we needed to hit 7200 or the other could happen was once again we would test that $6,000 range and break it and then um, you know test that $5,800 range and then if we broke it you know, and I know there's some of you are, are freaking out. All right, take the emotion out of it. It's okay. Um, yes, if you're stuck in positions, you're in the double digits, and that sucks. Um, now, I'm not saying that Bitcoin is going to drop from where we're at to like 4,000 4, tomorrow. This is going to be a, 
it could very much be a steady decline. And who knows, maybe the, the bulls and the whales are going to come back and hold this position and push us back up. It's right now, I think anyone's ball game, but more than likely there's not a lot of level of resistance or support, or there's not a lot of level of support going down. So just keep that in mind. Play the market. Pay very close attention to what's going on. That's why, you know, I've been for months, I've been stressing to you guys, you need to learn to read indicators. And you need to be reading and doing your research and listening to what these experts, you know, getting different opinions on the market so you can understand what's going on. I've been calling for this for a long time. You know, I've been waiting for Bitcoin to break that $6,000 resistance level and for it to break that $5,800 resistance level. I just, you know, it just made sense. You know, I think that we need to get one more good push downward to really bring some true volume into the market. And that's my feelings on that. I think we need to get Bitcoin low enough again where... You know, your retail trader is going to go, wow, it's really cheap, and start buying up, and then we can start seeing that rise. But it doesn't mean that you can't make money on a downtrend, but you have to be smart about it. I lost money today. You know what? That's part of being a trader. I know I'll make it back. So far the past couple months, especially with all the research and learning I've been doing, I've been breaking even, and I'm happy with that. That's a big step up from where I was back in July, you know, where I was always just losing money. Now I'm breaking even. The next step is to consistently make a profit. You know, but in along the way, even your best traders are going to lose money. It's part of the game. So don't worry. I mean, I know a lot of you are concerned about there. Um, let Bitcoin fall. Let it do its thing. Make your trades, you know, in those periods of consolidation. Open up your bot. You know, because at some point we're going to see a rebound in some of the alts just because there's going to have to be a period of consolidation. You know, they got to give Bitcoin a rest. You know, we go too far into the oversold conditions. And, you know, the bears could, or the bulls could easily come back and pop us back up. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, just hang out, wait for the consolidation, because with everything, you know, you have a few things. I mean, some things have gone down so low that they don't even register anymore. Um, but you have a lot of double digits and a lot of high single digits. Give it time to hit that period of consolidation, turn your bots back on, make some money, watch your market, make sure you got your triggers in effect at this point, and then turn off the bot when you need to, sell out of your positions, and so out of the Bitcoin, wait for it to drop again, bam, you're just, you're making money. There's a strategy there. You know, use your strategies. Find a good strategy that works for you. But this isn't the end. You know, I know there's, you know, the, the naysayers are now all out, you know, that the Bitcoin's dropped below 6,000 saying it's the end. It's not. This is something that's been expected to happen in the market. Um, you just got to see how low it goes. The lower it goes, really, the better it is for all of us in the space. It gives us an opportunity to buy in at better prices and make money when we do hit that bull run in 2019. It's going to happen. There's, If you're listening to the news, well, not listening, but you know, if you're reading all the news out there, there's a lot of good things happening in just overall the blockchain space. We have a lot of great things coming out. You're already seeing real life everyday apps and beta testing so it's happening let it drop we're only going to make more money in the long run by letting it drop and what you know when we get the volume in when, once it gets low enough when we start seeing heavy volume we'll start seeing a turnaround in the market as to where it's going to drop you know it can go as low as 4200 or even 3000 or, who knows, we could find a level of support somewhere in between where we're at in 4200 But even then, I mean, uh, let's say Bitcoin goes on to 5500 or 5200 That's a steal from where it has been. 
That's my opinion. So right now, what I'm doing, obviously, is I have the bot off. I'm letting Bitcoin do its thing. As soon as it's done, I'll buy into Tether. Or out of Tether and into uh, back into Bitcoin. Or did I buy into packs? Either way, I'm in a stable coin. So, that works. So, I have a couple minutes before I'm going to end this. So, what we'll do is I'll, I do want to talk about strategies. Alright. And the thing I want to talk about with strategies is when you make your strategy. Alright. And I, like I said, I even if you don't. If you design a strategy and you only use it for paper testing, the reason why you need to make a strategy, at least play with it, is you need to understand the market. It's your money. You're putting money into something. When it's your own personal money, you can't, you need to learn. And you need to learn how to control your money, or you're going to get wrecked. You know, and unfortunately, I say this, but some of you probably got wrecked today. You know, I only got partially wrecked because I didn't quite know how low it was going to go. So I got out of some positions, you know, let the, uh, some others sit, you know, and, uh, you know, when I woke up, it's at 5,800. It is what it is. I'm prepared for that, but were you? So when you design a strategy, first you have to have in mind what kind of strategy are you looking for? Are you looking for something that's aggressive? Like bone comma, bone comma is a very aggressive strategy, but it works. And there's fail safes in there to ensure that you don't get too wrecked. Um, are you looking for something like, you know, a mid card, you know, something that's not too aggressive, but, you know, is aggressive enough where you're going to see a good number of trades per day? You know, go with Venom. That's something, you know, that's a mid card, that's a middle of the road, and then, you know, uh, Miggity Miner's strategy. You know, that's a good long term strategy. I've played with it. Um, I liked it. So you have to think about how you want to go with your strategies. All right. And then you have different candle types. You have the standard. You have the, and I'm going to butcher this, so I apologize. The Haiken Ashashi and then the Renkos. I'm still learning about the different candle standards, so I'm not going to go into it. Because I'm not going to make myself sound like an idiot for something I don't know that much about. But I have did start. I have started to learn what they are. I just don't feel comfortable enough, you know, really explaining it. You have your different market types. You can set it for, you know, um, so this tells people what type of strategy you're, this is. So, you know, for example, um, with Bone Comma, it's just a sideways strat. Um, with Venom, there's three parts to it. It's got a sideways, a bullish, and a bearish. You know. Um, so this basically tells what type of strat that the indicators are looking for. You have to figure out what type of, of buy type. Do you want it to be a limit type? A limit type is when, uh, you know, once you indicate, once uh, a buy hits you, your what your indicators are, you can set it for a limit buy at whatever that price is. And then, you know, so it just pops up and some, you know, or you look for that price. The bot looks for that price and bam gets it um, or puts it out as a buy order and someone sells it to you whatever um, or you can go on a market type I'm running a trailing buy basically a trailing buy is when the indicators when the coin hits the indicators that I have uh, you know and then once it by default all right because mine's a little different than the fault so it's a trailing buy, target on the price, once, and it's triggered when it goes up by 0.2%, and then that's when your trailing buy pops in at 0.2% down, and then you know, that's your trailing buy. Now I have a buffer in mind of a 0.2, so it has to go down 0.2%, you know, even if the indicators hit, it's still got to go down 0.2%, then the trailing buy will kick in when it goes back up 0.2%, and then I get it in the middle somewhere. Um, I have that buffer in there. I've tested a lot of things. That works for this strategy. It might not work for yours. Um, so you have to figure out what type of buy type you're going. Sell type. 
um, I'm running a profit trail. So in other words, when it hits 0.85% profit, it arms. So if it keeps going up, then, you know, um, my stop loss is at 0.2. So if it goes up to 1%, my stop loss is armed at 0.8, so if it drops back down to 0.8, boom, I've sold it, made my profit. You can go with a percent profit, so all you do is, let's say, that was a percent profit of 0.85%. So as soon as it hits 8.5%, um, well, and this is the problem with percent profit is it doesn't always sell. Sometimes it takes a while for it to sell, but... It puts in an order as soon as you buy it at 0.85% and then it's there to get sold. You can put in a stop loss. Um, I have tested stop losses with this strategy. 4% works good for it if you're into stop losses. I don't have it enabled right now, um, but that's what I've tested it as and it works very well. And then you go into your indicators. So we'll go into indicators on a different day, but that is the very basic of setting up your strategy um, just on the main page. Indicators are a completely different story. You have to figure out how you want to read the market and what strategies you want. And I will, I'm not going to go into every single indicator, but I will touch on some more of the basic ones. And but honestly, folks, you got to do your research. I can only teach you so much and help you out so much. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, obviously, it's been a very, very rough day for trading. Um, it's OK. Um, just don't get too emotional about it. Wait for Bitcoin to calm down. You know, turn your bots back on. That's what I'm going to do once Bitcoin comes back down. You know, and I see some consolidation happening. Um, I'll go ahead and buy back into Bitcoin. I will set up my triggers once again, though. I haven't really been using my triggers, um, mainly for testing. But at this point, I'm going to set the triggers back up because obviously uh, there's a very good uh, possibility that we're going to see some serious free falls at some point. Um, you know, and like I said, you don't know. Maybe the whales will come back, and um, but we'll see, or we'll see some strength in the market you know at these prices and some volume and get pushed back up over the 6000 mark I'm not right now putting my money on that I'm looking more that there's going to be more downward trading happening so uh with that said if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um you know if you want to know when I do my videos feel free to subscribe and uh, it'll let you know when I drop a video um Thank you all for, for watching and supporting me. Um, if you're new to the channel, there are links down below. Um, if you want to test out Apex Trader, it's still $35. So click on my link down below and it'll take you right over. And yes, I'll get a little credit for you know you uh, clicking that rank link. It helps me out. Um, and if for some reason you guys want to help me uh, explore other strats or do other things, feel free to uh, donate. I have my addresses down below. And again, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next video.